I'm going to aliquot some 488 labeled colloidin. Um, it's kept in lyophilized powder form when they ship it. Right, so right here in the minus 20 C, you will see our stock. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some lyophilized powder at the bottom. We're going to dissolve that in DMSO and aliquot it on ice and throw it in the minus 20. Okay, so what I've calculated before is that to make um, 100 millimolar micromolar phalloidin, what I'm going to need to do is add 100 microliters of DMSO to this stock. So I'll keep it on ice for the minute. DMSO, it's stored at room temperature. It's kept in the dark. I'll take just one of these stock vials and then I will set my pipetter to 100 microliters. I add my... Cool. Good. Okay. I set my pipetter to 100. It's nice and secure on there. Just one tap is necessary. You don't need this. Just one firm that with the pipetter. Okay. When you're pipetting things that are kept in dark vials, try to get a sense of where the line is, but just do it really slowly. Make sure you're not plunging your whole pipetter in there, but do make sure you're making contact with the liquid. And then just slowly pipette up. Okay, looks like the volume filled. Close that. Yeah, you want to be careful around DMSO because it'll um, absorb into your skin pretty much instantly. So make sure not to spill any. Okay, I'm gonna take my Addo 48 colloidin right here, open it up carefully. Shouldn't really be any powder around the rim, but if there was, I would try to pipette kind of slowly around to make sure I get all of the powder into the solution. Okay, I just add. Make sure I get the full volume out of my pipetter. Dispose of that in the trash. No. You can fix that in post. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is just keep pipetting up and down for quite a while until I see that it's fully dissolved. And with lyophilized powders, DMSO, um, cytoskeleton proteins, this can take like a few minutes, so you may want to even just let it sit for a bit to be sure that it's very well mixed, because the last thing you want is just clumps of dye in your sample. Okay. This seems to dissolve pretty quickly. Yeah, try to get minimal bubbles, but really the point is to dissolve this as, well, as best as possible. Take advantage of the clear storage here. Here. It's pretty nicely dissolved, looks like. All right. All right. Looks about dissolved now. Okay. The thing about DMSO, so Phalloidin is stored in the minus 20. Ideally, you want to keep these chemicals cold when you're aliquoting them, but the thing about DMSO is that it freezes instantly if I put this on ice, and we want to avoid as many freeze-thaw cycles as possible because that can actually damage the chemicals. So what I'm going to do is just very quickly aliquot this into 2.5 microliter aliquots, throw those on ice, and then we'll throw those in the minus 20 when we're done. So I keep my stock over here. I can even put it in this tube rack to just keep it stable. Um, and what I'm going to do is I set my small pipetter to 2.5 microliters. And then I labeled all of my tubes in advance, or Ali labeled all my tubes in advance. Um, just a short title, we put Addo 488 pH. This is Addo 488 phalloidin. Set my pipetter to 2.5 microliters. 
get a small tip. Okay, I can reuse this tip for as long as I can tell that it's um it's kept on there stably. If you're making a protocol, you should replace your pipette tip obviously with every single step, but for aliquoting, when you're aliquoting the same thing over and over, you can use it for multiple rounds. Okay, I open my little container, I go into my solution, draw up, make sure it actually drew up, and then this is a fairly, fairly small volume to pipette, so you need to be a bit careful. I put my tube about to the end, and then just make sure that as I depress my pipette, all of the solution comes out. And it should look about like that. And throw it on ice. And then just do that 39 more times. <laughs> and you want to make sure, one thing to check for, so I'm drawing out my solution. I like to hold my tube and my pipette horizontally, or close to horizontally when I'm pipetting. Um, just make sure that your solution is just coming to the same height in your pipette tip every time, because otherwise that's an indication that your pipette tip doesn't have a good seal anymore and you should replace it. And then just pipette into there, close, on ice. And then I'll just try to get through the rest of these quickly, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to take them out, off of the ice and then... I'll store them desiccated in the 20C, minus 20C. Good. Okay. Cool. All right. Another cool fact about DMSO, other than the fact that it absorbs really quickly into your skin, is that it needs to be kept separate from water. So we store our phylloidin, aliquotted in DMSO, in desiccant. And I just put in a little bit of desk kit into this container. I also put tape around this container to keep it nice and dark so our floor floors don't just get damaged from like the light that would go into the fridge day to day. Um, a little bit of indicator, that's the little purple things. Um, about this much should do. And then I have all of my fun aliquots here. I'll just throw them in. I'll try to do this quickly so that nothing defrosts. And then I also like to keep the empty stock vial in the um, in the container with the aliquots just for reference if we need it later. Um, throw all these in, try to get as little ice as possible so it doesn't kill the desiccant on the first day. And then on the cap, I put a little tape label with the name of the chemical. It's Addo labeled 488 phylloidin. I put the concentration, 100 micromolar, um, the size of the aliquots and how many I have, the date that I made them, and my initials on them. And all of this information will be entered into the chemical inventory. And close the lid, nice and tight. And I throw it in the appropriate um, storage, which is the minus 20 freezer. <laughs> okay, um, you can go back here and take note of where you put it and inventory it or else.